How's it going over here? Oh, a piece of cake. This side's going together like butter. It's, it's almost like, you know, I know what I'm doing. Really? <laughs> the nasty, YouTube, if you could understand the nasty look I just got. I mean, you can probably imagine if you would have said something like that, the look you would probably get from your better half. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, look what you did. Eh, it's just a stupid little bow ring, it's fine. Well, you know, once we figured out how to put them on and everything, yeah, I'll, I think it'd be a little bit easier. It only took me like two seconds to figure out what the problem was. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, you know this. Mm-hmm. You want to slide me that bucket of grease? No. You, you, <laughs> that's how we're going to play today, huh? So, these the little O-rings and the calipers sometimes don't like to slide over the pins so you put just a little bit of grease on there and that can really make a difference in getting the the pin through the o-ring did we have to do that on my side no no because i got the pin in just fine you didn't get the pin in that's because you didn't tell me that there was something blocking it you should have been able to see it you were right there. So, but yeah, no, we've almost got the brakes installed, which is going to be one more thing checked off the list. And then we'll move on to the next thing. I think we should be able to get the steering installed today too. Um, or at least partially installed. Uh, we'll have to find out if all the components we have are the right components. Uh, don't have a steering column yet or the intermediate shaft. That's that's a whole different ball of wax. I got to get the gearbox in first and kind of measure the length and see if what I got for the other car, um, the wagon behind me, see if the, the same intermediate shaft will work. I don't want to tighten that yet. But yeah, I mean, this stuff is all, let's, let's be honest, I'm brand new to a lot of these components. I've never done a straight axle before, so we're diving in kind of blind, kind of new, um, going off watching videos and doing research online about how stuff works and what it needs to be, and it'll come out however it comes out. We just got to hope that it comes out good, right? Right. So, a lot of it's pretty simple as far as the assembly. We just gotta hope that we don't have any issues once we get it on the road and driving. Because of making a dumb mistake out of ignorance and not knowing it. But you don't know what you don't know. That's, that's how the saying goes, right? You don't know what you don't know? Sure. You never heard that one before? Mm hmm. You don't know what you don't know? How can you know that you don't know it if you don't know it? Mm -hmm. Exactly, you don't know what you don't know. <laughs> You're not filming it at all if you don't turn the camera on. Oh, goodness. Um, all right, brakes are in. And it uh, wasn't too terrible. So now we're going to go ahead and see if we can't get this steering gearbox installed. These front ends use a, that's a Vega box, a Vega steering box. And uh, it's nicely packaged to a zip tie. But in just a couple of bolts, we should be able to pop this on there. Um, the, the factor or the, the Speedway kit uses a two inch, um, dropped pitman arm, whereas the pitman arm that I have that I'm hoping is the same spline as this gearbox is a straight pitman arm, not a drop pitman arm. So not sure if we're going to be able to use that or not yet, but I didn't want to order another one until I uh, found out if this one worked. Uh, this was uh, one of the items that we got in our Summit mystery boxes. 
And, well, it's the right spline, so that's a good sign. Um, we'll just have to find out if the geometry is good enough for us to use that. Um, I am, like I mentioned in the last video on this car, I am highly considering doing a two inch drop axle, which might make that Pitman arm exactly what's needed to, uh, to put this all together. Now, which way does this go? This goes this way. Um, but yeah, this just goes in with a couple of 9 16 bolts right up here in the front. Put that on there before I lose it. Um, not that way. Wait, that way? That doesn't look right. Oh no. Something's amiss here. What am I missing? All right, I got to uh, I got to look this up online. I'm clearly missing something. Uh, I don't know if it's a spacer or a bracket, but there's something missing that goes between the power or the uh, steering gearbox and the frame because those holes don't line up that way. It definitely doesn't line up that way or that way. Something's amiss. Might figure it out. Hopefully I don't have the wrong gearbox. That would suck. Alright, I'll be back. So, I'm going to have to get some more hardware because I don't have the appropriate hardware to do this. So we're going to add that to the list. Steering. You have coupons. Steering gearbox hardware. That's what we got to add to the list. Um, but we'll make sure that this all fits up right. It is the correct gearbox. Uh, the bracket requires use of a, an extra thick washer and or bushing between the gearbox and the frame. And I don't exactly have the ideal solution for that, but we did just pull these little silver guys out of our brake calipers because we didn't need them down there. So I'm gonna repurpose those for this mock-up onto here like that and then this will be able to bolt up like that and it should all be about right should that's the keyword there but this is old crusty hardware that we'll want to uh, replace just to be good and safe because it is kind of the steering which is you know next to just as important as the brakes Maybe more important than the brakes. Is this why you didn't have me do it? That might have something to do with it. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> no. That's not, it has nothing to do with that. All right, one, one more bolt in there, and then we just gotta tighten these guys up. No big, no big is. I mean, it's not the end of the world. We'll be able to replace this hardware at any time. Um, we just have to remember to do it and put in a a spacer that's a little more appropriate than the uh, thin sleeve that's in there right now. We'll remember, right? Sure. I don't know if you put it on the board. Uh, if you put, tell me to put with something on the board, I put it on the board. That's why we have this board over there. What do you think I'm saying right now? I'm filming you. Well, you could, you could put it on the board while I tighten these bolts. Just film putting it on the board. You don't have to point at me the whole time. I'm going to point at you the whole time. No, they want to watch you add, add to the board. No. Plus, they want to know what else is on there. Well, the only thing that's on there is things that we've done, and like this is so I put, you know, pull the car apart, which, you know, well, I mean, we kind of pulled the front end apart, and then, you know, we did the front end, brake pads. I was trying to add more things to it, but, you know, that one over there was like, oh, I don't know. Uh, and then that we, <laughs> and then, uh, and then we added the can't forget. 
uh, because these are obviously things, the, the pin for the wheels, the kingpin snap ring, uh, things that we cannot forget. And then put the car back together with all the miscellaneous stuff that we're going to do to it. And then obviously, um, you know, if you are a car person, car girl, car guy, anything, once you put the car back together, you know that you're not done. So that's why there's a little squiggly line because there are, is going to be more to do before we do hit no name nationals. Um, so, but things happen, you know, you got to make a list so you don't forget because that guy right there, right there, if, if he was a whiteboard, I'd be circling his head. Um, you know, he says things like, oh, hey, yeah, um, I need this and I need that. And then later down the road, he's like, I don't remember. So. Yeah. So you're adding steering gearbox hardware. Well, but that. Where do you have the camera pointing? You. Not exactly. You're in the shot. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Anyway. Yes. Steering gearbox hardware needs to be. No, no. That needs to go on the can't forget. Oh my goodness. You can't forget to readdress this hardware. All right. Before, because we really don't, we don't, we don't want this falling apart. It's kind of a steering box hardware. Anything else? Uh, not yet. There's always going to be something else to add to the board, and that's why I create the board. Yeah, there's, there's definitely going to be more, but not right at the moment. What'd you do? I didn't do it. The threads in this gearbox on one of the holes are garbage. The blue threads are blew out on one of the holes. They didn't even get tight. Well, then. That's crap. They didn't even tighten it. I guess I'll leave those other ones alone for now. Alright, let's take a um, look at it. So yeah, there's my temporary spacers. Um, Crusty old hardware that needs to be changed. But that's in there. So the next bit that goes in, we'll find out if the length is right, which this one, the length should be right. And I wonder if anybody's gonna comment on it when we put that, uh, that bottom rod in about uh, not putting a jam nut on there. Because I didn't put a jam, any jam nuts on that one. Don't worry, I got jam nuts. So right here, is this a right hand or a left hand? I don't know. Uh, but we're, we're gonna put jam nuts on. I actually think that rod's a little too long, so it may end up having to get replaced. Uh, we'll find out here shortly. So this is the wrong direction. Wrong jam nut. I need the other one. Uh, the, the Himes that I'm using are left hand, right hand, uh, which allows you to loosen the jam nut and then adjust the length without actually disconnecting the Heim joint from the whatever it's connected to. You just twist the bar and it'll adjust. So that's, kind of, that's the convenience of handed Heim joints. The downside is you have to figure out which one goes where and you really don't want to screw up your left hand thread ones because then you need left hand thread taps and stuff to fix them and that stuff's kind of expensive and I also don't have any of it. Actually I don't think I have any fine thread right hand, right hand taps either so we'll just not screw them up. That sound fair? That'd be nice. All right. I'm going to get this one turned in, and then i got to put one on the other end. Spin, spin, spin. That'll do. 
Uh, along with the heim joints, the other part that you often want to use is uh, these, I think they call them conical washers, but they're basically it's a tapered washer or spacer. And what you do with these, this tapered washer, is you put it underneath your heim and it improves so when your heim's at a crazy angle it gives more clearance than a straight spacer does or having it flush up against something so you always want to use something like this with your heim joints if they're going to be up against a flat surface of any sort you spacer it with a tapered uh, washer to uh so that they don't bind up that's what that's what that's for but all right move on spend Jam that on. Spin back in. Get it, get it. It's kind of like a work. Yeah? Yeah. Almost. Almost. All right. That's in. Enough so anyway. Um, now come over here. Grab the pitman arm. And we're just going to, we're not going to seat it all the way because we're just trying to look at the angle of the pitman arm. The other thing it says to do with these gearboxes when you get them is to rotate them all the way one direction and all the way the other, count the number of rotations and find center. I'm aware that that needs to happen uh, to make sure that this is going on centered. But right now for checking the geometry and seeing if this uh, Pitman arm is gonna work, I'm not too concerned about whether or not it's properly centered. I just wanna know if it's gonna work. So, yeah, I know. I didn't actually center the gearbox. It's supposed to be centered from the factory, though, right? They're supposed to center it? That's reliable, I'm sure. And then, conical washer. Come on. Oh, it doesn't use this side bolt. Well, that's a problem. The, uh, Pitman arm is for a, uh, a half inch bolt, and these rod ends use five eighths bolts. So, what are we going to do about that? Or is this, yeah, it's just a straight for a half inch. Bolt doesn't fit, but that's the size hind joints I have. Um, I'm going to put this together really wrong now because I'm just going to stuff a half inch bolt loosely into the hind joint. That's not a half inch. That's not. I'm going to stuff a bolt. I don't really care what size it is as long as it holds it all together to uh, find out if this pitman arm is going to work. And if so, we'll either drill that out, which I don't know if I want to do that, drill that for a 5 8 or if I just want to get a different heim joint for a smaller bolt. That's probably more likely is just to replace it with the right heim joint. One more thing. All right. Try this again. That on there, put the spacer so it's about. Oh, I don't have a nut. So good. Is that right? Yeah. Nope. He's got this thing of miscellaneous stuff that he likes to go through. Yeah, it's my. This is my my junk hardware. You never you never know when you just gonna need that one missing bit. So a lot of stuff ends up in here. Right at the moment, it doesn't seem to have what I need, though. Let me 
maybe maybe it's that bolt. Some of the stuff that does end up in here though probably should have gone straight to the trash. Would this one work? No, I need a nut. Well, yeah, but it comes with a nut. Oh yeah, that that <laughs> probably will work. Good eye. That's got a nut that fits. That'll work. Goodness. What? <laughs> oh, I need the washer too. Too small. Well, you're using that. Oh, you need a washer. No, I need hand? a washer on the other side. Uh -oh. Because the bolt is that much smaller than. You want that washer that's on the ground? Yeah, that'll probably work. Look at Look at you. <laughs> My goodness. Look at you problem solving like a pro. <laughs> Alright. Go. Oh, is it too short? Well, you're just doing it, just, you're just doing like a mock up, so it doesn't, I mean, as long as you can kind of get it on there, it doesn't really matter. It's just, okay. some, just a little I mock up. That, that should, that should hold. It's got like one, one turn. One turn of threads. It'll. Yeah. Right. This is and just then, lock up to see what we need, what we. Hey. The bolt's right there. I know, but I need another conical washer. Oh my goodness. This, I have it. I might as well put it on. Okay. And then this will come to the back hole. That goes on. Do you need another washer though? No, not for this right now. because that's got the right size bolt in it. So, um, what we're looking at is the angle of, the angle of the dangle. I mean, Ooh, this camera is getting hot. Is it getting hot? Do we need to give it a break? Hold on, I'm almost, I'm almost to the spot where we can give the camera a break. Um, I need, where's the big bolt? That's not the big bolts. That's not the big bolts. Where'd the other big bolt go? Mm -hmm. What other big there bolt? I need, oh. I need another one of these. I think you need glasses. It was no, I need another one. Oh. It's in one. those bags. No, you only had two in those bags. That's it. So That's you only it? Two. Yeah, you only had hit. two. So we didn't get one no. of them? Son of a gun. Pretty sure you did not get... Why would I have done that? Why wouldn't I have got all the bolts that I need? I know, because I'm a dip. Give me a second. They're looking at your angle to your dangle. Uh, you, oh, there, you, oh, camera's over here? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, guys. Um, thanks for hanging out. Wifey's well, looking for one, one more bolt that we can stuff in the other side, and I'm going to start working on a, a substitute, because we, what we're trying to look at is the, the relative angle of the... Uh, the bits over here to see if it all lines up with a decent, uh, let's see. Well, son of a gun. All right, don't worry about it. We'll just paint it for now. This will, this will work. So we need more, more hardware. Um, get this guy. What do you need? I don't, I don't know. I gotta figure out what they are. Okay, so there we go. Uh, actually, that's really not too bad. Um, this, this angle, you want this bar right here as close to parallel as possible. Uh, that's where you get the least amount of bump steer as the suspension travels. And we do have most of the weight on the axle right now because we'll, we've got the drivetrain sitting in there and the jack stands are under the axle. So we're holding it with the suspension loaded. And uh, this angle is not terrible. If I were to put a, uh, you know, a half inch spacer or something on that pitman arm and just space that down just a little bit, then this would actually be at a pretty decent angle. We clear on the leaf spring. So I, I think I'll probably start off at least using this pitman arm and save or spend the money on something other than the drop pitman arm for now and uh, we'll see what see what happens with it and it definitely if we go to a a two inch drop axle 
then this is definitely going to be the pitman arm that we want um, because this will all come up which might even give us some clearance issue with the leaf spring we may have to put the the bars the drag length and whatnot may have to go to the bottom side of the steering who knows i won't know that until we make the change on the axle if we make the change on the axle but this geometry doesn't look terrible now i've got to get a list put together of hardware that's needed to actually button this all up and uh yeah then we'll move on from that so that's where we're at with the steering um as you heard the camera is getting a little spicy on the hot side so we're going to shut it off for a little bit because it is in the 90s in the shop and we'll put it in front of the fan and let it cool off and then figure out what we're going to do next and i'll start putting a list of hardware together because that sounds all so exciting i know we love that anyway we'll be back with you now it's recording yeah, that was recording uh, over here sweating my balls off yes you are Look at his shirt. Look at his shirt. Just completely. It's, uh, it's uh, that's only 91.4 degrees in here. And like, you know, it's like 900% Yeah. Yeah. So, if you're wondering why I'm wasting my time sweating. sweating to death, it's because after the, the last little clip that you saw just a couple of seconds ago, I'm sure, something like that, um, I busted out my good old calipers and I measured the hole size on the end of this pitman arm because I was trying to look up what rod end I could get to uh, fit my tie rod to this pitman arm thinking it was going to be a half inch and the hole in this pitman arm is not a half inch it was 0.61 of an inch which is just shy of 5 8 because the 5 8 is 0.625 um, which is probably how this ended up in one of those summit grab boxes it was probably returned because it didn't fit a 5 8 bolt um so i'm doing a little bit of reaming efforts because uh the only way to make this useful is for it to use a 5 8 you can't drop down to a half inch because the hole was already too big and uh after a little bit of filing and uh cleaning up with my uh, my little sanding drum on there now a 5 8 bolt fits it's still a little snug but that's good enough for me because it doesn't need to rotate in there and it's not you know pinched up to where i can't turn it but that solves that problem and means we don't need a new rod end um, you just need more bolts yeah i just need to get more 5 8 bolts because i don't have enough to actually put the whole front end stuff all together but now this guy can go back on that and this bolt goes there tapered washer that up that goes through there and five eighths nut Whoa. which i kind of bound up the threads on that one working on it but the screen uh, just went a little haywire Oh, it's because it's freaking hot. Um, that's right. It down. I know, but it's still, it's just hot. The camera really doesn't like being hot. The film is still going to be alright. 15, 16, oh, I need another wrench. I kind of buggered the threads on this bolt just a little bit while I was uh, getting the, uh, the pitman arm sorted out. But, that's why this nut being a little stubborn. <clears throat> anyway, um, that bolt's going to get replaced. 
along with others, but now you get the idea this will come, it'll land out here, and for the sake of just having stuff kind of kind of in the right place, those are kind of where they need to be. Enough, enough so that uh, it'll stay there. That's the right size knife. the right size knife for that too small. Um, anyway. Wrong. You did it on the wrong bolt. What? Never mind. I did not. Whatever. I, I tried to it to this one, which doesn't have a nut on the bottom of it. But it was the wrong size. See? Not the right size. Okay. I mean, I probably have one the right size for this bolt. Those are fine. No, don't worry about it. Hold on. Hold on. Let me, let me take the junkie. Junkie drawer. Will that thread on there? Not exactly. It'll, it'll thread enough to hold it. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to get some more hardware. That's the uh, yeah, the right hardware to bolt this all up. Um, I think this pitman arm is gonna work. I probably will put a, a little get a longer bolt that will allow me to run about a half inch spacer right here at the bottom of the pigment arm, just to bring that rod angle down just a little bit, at least for now. Um, putting a spacer in there's no, not that big of a deal. It's not like I'm gonna drop it that much. Uh, to create a major stress issue. Uh, but, and like I said, there's a good chance we're gonna, we're gonna go to a two inch drop, drop axle, which will change this geometry quite a bit. Um, this bar right here, the uh, drag length between the two, front wheels is too long um, I am gonna have to get one that's shorter or cut this one shorter I'll have to see how deep the threads are in the end of the rod to see if I can cut an inch off of it and still have enough thread depth for the hind joints because I need to take oh I probably need to take uh, three quarters of an inch off both sides so I can get a jam nut in and bring the toe in because right now it's sitting towed out you know that I can see with just my eye looking at it I can tell it's towed out which means there's too much uh, too much toe and there's no more adjustment that bar has been short as much as it can be right now but you know it's all the, the setup stuff that will have to get sorted out anywho um, I think this is where we're going to leave it for this week, uh, or at least for today, because um, it's hot, I'm tired, I need hardware to keep going, to do anything else with the front end, and it's really too late in the day to start on another, a whole nother start of this project, because uh, dinner time's rolling around, and if you haven't picked it up on any of the previous videos, the wifey gets hangry, so we have to make sure that she gets fed, otherwise... I end up in the doghouse, and all of this becomes a problem. So, uh, we appreciate you guys hanging out. Be sure to go down there, hit that like and that subscribe, support the channel. Remember, the wifey wants AC in the shop, which means we need a lot more subscribers to get AC in the shop, because, uh, well, what, what, how many subscribers do you think you need to put AC in the shop? We'll, we'll put a call out for that number. What do you think? What are we at right now? Right now we're only like 500 and something. But remember, we don't monetize until a thousand. So we need a thousand. No, I, that means there's no money coming in at a thousand. It was still not paying for itself. I'm thinking, what, 5,000? 5,000. 5,000. If we get 5,000 subscribers. T turn around, tell, tell them. If we get 5,000 subscribers, call will put AC in the shop for me. So there you go, guys. If you really want to punish me, yeah. ramp this up, yeah. get it kicked out there. 5,000 subscribers gets wifey AC in the shop. I know that does absolutely nothing for you, the viewer, but that's not true, though. It does do something for you. What it does is it makes her happy. If she's happy, we get to spend more time out here in the shop, which means I get to get more work done and uh, the cars get to do more stuff. And you'll see and, me more. And you'll get to see so. more. So there's the number, 5,000 subscribers. 5,000. It's her AC in the shop. And on that note, 
we will see you guys on the next one.